Hey guys, this is Jay from South Bay Genesis. Today I'll be going over the sound system for the 2023 GV80 Advanced, which is going to be the same as the Prestige and the Select throughout all the models. All right guys, so we're going to go over how to get to the sound system setup. You can either go for the setup right over here, or you can use a knob, scroll through, until you get it set up, go ahead and click on it. Then from there, you go scroll down a little bit, go to sound, and now you're at premium sound. So what premium sound does, it gives you the chance to use the quantum logic surround system and choose what kind of sound you want. If you want to be an audience, you can be an immersive, like you're in the audience for a concert. On stage, it'd be if you're on stage. And references would be really accurate and realistic sounds. And then we've also got the speed dependent volume control, which right now, is that moderate change, it adjusts the volume to base, based on your speed. So you go in a little bit faster, you can change it to a massive change. If you want it to be very moderate, moderate, smallest change, it's gonna be pretty small. You won't notice much. After that, you've got to start up max volume limit so you can set up what kind of volume you want from it. If you, you don't like loud noise, loud music playing from your uh, vehicle, you can definitely do that one. After that, you got your position. So with the position, you can choose where you want the sound to be coming from. Say you and you and your husband sit in, or, or your other is sitting on the front row, and you got kids in the back. You can let them listen to music. You guys can have a conversation over here, or vice versa. It works really, really nice. You can set it up to four the four corners and right in the middle as well. Next one is going to be your tone. This is pretty self-explanatory. If you want to have high bass, you can adjust the bass. You want a bit of treble. You want the mid-range. It's going to be if you want EDM, anything like that with a strong bass. Definitely boost it all the way up. There you go. Nice, nice volume for that. And obviously you can center it if you'd like. After that, it's going to be the guidance sentence. So if your guidance volumes or there, if you want the beeps to be lower for say incoming cars, all your monitors is going to be right over here for you. Your navigation guidance when you're using the nav, the way it speaks to you, the sound effects as well, the voice recognition prompts, your voice prompts while you're talking to it and as well your ringtone and obviously the alerts. Next is going to be navigation voice guidance. This one you can mute if you say you don't want it as well. You can mute it. With a camera alert system it alerts you to all, all cameras on the road. If you don't want that the noise you can always turn it off if you like as well. Next is going to be your map. So all the sounds coming from your map right over here. If you want to switch to map mode all right, so under navigation, no. navigation, you got the navigation during calls, you got navigation volume priority, which will lower the volume of your music, and it'll talk a little bit louder as well. And you got the mute navigation if you don't want that altogether. That's the mute guidance. And then the welcome sound whenever you start on your car. The radio noise for here. If you want original sound, go ahead and hit that. And that's going to allow full signal sound without reducing background noise. Minimum noise reduction is going to balance the sound and reduces the background noise quite a bit, and maximum, it reduces the sound quite a bit. Driver assistance. You can set here your the volume of your driver assist, driving safety priority, high, medium, low, pretty self-explanatory. Same with the parking, all the beeps whenever you're coming near, backing up into a parking space, high, medium, low, are completely off. And then finally is gonna be your connected device, your Android, your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, both, you can start off with the Android Auto here. Media guidance, pretty simple. And the Apple CarPlay has a little bit more. The ringtone navigation voice setting controls. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions regarding the GV80 sound system, feel free to drop the comments down below and we'll get back to you.